Welcome back to episode four of building a house for free. So just to recap, I started this project a few weeks ago. A friend of mine had a bit of land. He had a structure in a field that needed rebuilding. I decided to take on the challenge. What I did was I removed the roof, which was old rotten oak, and then I reset the vertical posts. After that, I braced everything together and then started to work on the floor. For the floor, I used pallet wood by getting free pallet wood from local sources. And over the last few weeks, I've been collecting things such as a wood stove, a sink, some chimney flue sections, and various other things. Not everything has been for free. Some things I've had to haggle for, get the price down, but at the end of the day, I'm trying to make use of things that people are throwing away or selling for cheap. Things that will benefit my new mud house. Now, let's get back to the video. So the day has come and the straw bales have finally arrived. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> we have straw.
Oh yeah, big day today. Yes, one more to go. And that all happened a few days ago, but let me just flip the camera around to bring you up to date with the build. So before we talk about that, let's talk about this. This wood I managed to get from a local farmer after chatting to him in the pub last week. And these are 3.6 meter lengths of wood. They've got a rough finish and normally you'd use them as fencing. They're called a half round rail, but I didn't need them for any fencing. This is what I've used them for. So I've placed them all on the roof. There's a ring going around the top. Everything is screwed to this ring, which is made out of pallet wood. Again, a free material. And then I've got these half round rails that go up and down it's going to allow me to put in bits of hazel which i'm going to screw to it basically along there there going all the way around and that will then allow for the thatch to be secured to it so the next thing i want to talk about is this this outrigger this is a platform which the bales will sit on the bales will go all the way around they'll then have chicken wire attached to the bales and then i'll be making up a cob mix of straw clay and sand and applying that to the walls this will become a bit of a mud house, straw walled, thatched roofed building. And again, for these, I've used a lot of pallet wood as well as these half round rails. They've all been secured in. Now this, remember the original roof? Well, that was really rotten. However, there are bits that weren't as rotten as other bits like this. Cutting through it, you can see it is solid wood. So I've decided to reuse this. I've burnt off some pieces of wood which are footings and they go underneath this post now the idea is for this just to support the outrigger because without this there's quite a lot of flex in here but with this it makes it a lot more stronger a lot more support so i've screwed it in there i've screwed it in there everything's been screwed in i've used a lot of screws for this project i have spent a bit of money but at the end of the day i'm trying to make something for cheap or for free i'm trying to reuse materials that people would normally throw away whether that be a sink a wood stove or even a sofa or a table or even some windows all right all right okay. another thing i've been doing is i've been collecting a bit of hazel i've been looking for fairly straight hazel which i can then use for the building the hazel will become stakes in order to stake through the straw bales once they're stacked on top of each other. Every other layer of straw bale will have a one meter stake pinning them together. So what I need to do is get a load, load more hazel. I probably need about 60 of these in total because I'm also gonna be splitting them in half and using them on the roof so that there's a bit of support for the thatch to be secured to. And the great thing about this is it makes really good tinder or kindling when it comes to fire lighting. That's once it's dried out for a few days. Some of you might recognize this mound of soil. I turned it into a rocket stove about a week ago. And since then, I've made a few more improvements. I might do an updated video very soon, but if you haven't seen it, please go and check out the video of how I turned that into a rocket stove. Yay. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much to all the comments, your suggestions. They really get my brain thinking about ideas and projects I can do down here or improvements I can make to the build. I always say if you haven't already subscribed please hit well please i think it was red and that's black but please hit the button subscribe like the video if you like the video see you next week goodbye <laughs>